Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. This is the 24, uh, 2014 edition of a very popular Dell 13-inch, the XPS. Shannon Morse, our producer, has it. Is that it right there? This is it. The Dell XPS 13. This is the 2014 edition of it. Uh, they did quite a few updates with this one. Uh, first off, they upgraded the CPU, of course, to a fourth gen processor. They also upgraded the screen, which is probably the huge, biggest deal about this one. It's a nice full HD screen. 1080p. And it's also touch screen. Yeah. Nice, yeah. It's so, so pretty. And this and is an Ultrabook. It looks very thin and light, right? It is. Oh yeah. my gosh. It's three pounds. Wow. That's it. Yeah. And it's super small. You wouldn't think this is 13 inches because compared to something like the MacBook Air. That's a 13 it, inch MacBook. There's, these are both 13 inches, wow. but they yeah. look just a little bit different. Yeah. See that size difference? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird. So this one is. Uh, it's also higher res than the MacBook Air. It is Air. higher. Yeah. So this one is a 1920 by 1080 full HD screen. It is so, so pretty. I totally like this one. It, it was absolutely gorgeous when I was playing with it. Let me turn it back. Dell, like a lot you. of companies, has adapted that Mac style uh, chiclet keyboard. Yes. Um, how do you feel about that? I mean, it, compared to something like the Lenovo ThinkPad. I actually have no problems with the keyboard. I liked it a lot. It was very easy to use. It was super simple. Um, I feel like this top row up here, this is why it's such a the small. The function keys. Yeah, this, yeah. Uh, the function keys up at the top are a little bit too small for myself. Um, but that's just a personal taste. Yeah. They, this is backlit, so it's really nice to see everything, especially when it's dark out. And even the touchpad is nice and smooth. So I know a lot of people had problems with the touchpad in the past. They also made this a lot easier to use. Um, as far as the format of this guy goes, it's aluminum on the top. So it feels kind of plasticky and cheap. But the bottom is carbon fiber. Really, really nice carbon fiber. So it's really nice, and that also adds to the weight of it why it's only three pounds, so it's super, super lightweight. Um, the screen, of course, is beautiful. It's really, really bright. It's very easy to use, and it's very fluid, too. I didn't notice any kind of lag or any issues with that. So I know that the processor is definitely doing what it's supposed to be doing. In this one, we have a Haswell fourth generation. Yes, Haswell fourth gen, and the one I got is I uh, it's an i7 oh, processor. Oh, so top of the line. Yeah, here. it's top of the line. Now, with that top of the line also cause, comes a top of the line price. So the one I got, it also has 8 gigs of RAM. It's upgraded to Windows 8.1. It is the touchscreen, nice, nice, full res, full HD screen. And it has the Intel HD 4400 graphics uh, included as well in a 256 solid state drive. With that, uh, wait a minute, let me guess. And everything, let me guess. $1399? Close. A fourteen ninety nine. More, yeah, a little bit more. Fifteen ninety nine. <laughs> it's sixteen fifty. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is 16 pricey. Sixteen fifty. Yeah, that is pricey. Okay. Now, if you don't feel like paying that price, they do have a ten forty nine, a ten fifty version of it. It is not a touch screen, and it comes with Windows seven. And they also have a version right in the middle. It's an i five, and that one is thirteen forty nine. So they have a couple of other options, and the 1349 version is also Windows 8.1 with the same touch screen. So the touch screen and high-res screen does add a lot of uh, cost it does, to it. Yeah. And of course, i7 is much more costly. Yeah. So you can get down lower if you're willing to sacrifice some of those If features. you want to. Personally, yeah. though, I really, really like this target market. Like 13-inch, Ultrabook, high-res, high-resolution, and the i7 processor. That's like, that's my deal. I love these kind of laptops. I got to say, though, for people who say, oh, the Mac is so much more than a PC. There you go. That's a MacBook Air competitor that's actually more yeah. than the comparable MacBook Air. It is. But you know what? I really, really liked it. Yeah. Um, the battery on this thing lasts almost 10 hours. Good. Yeah. Love it's that. It's a really good battery. So they upgraded that, too, as opposed to their 2013 yeah, version. Yeah, that's a real benefit of Haswell, of course. The yeah. speaker is on the back of it. How does it sound? Right here. Yeah. It's pretty decent. Yeah. Uh, it's very clean, very crisp. Uh, I was listening to a bunch of podcasts on it and some videos on YouTube, and it, it sounded just fine. It got really, really loud, and it seemed to seem to echo out from the side, so it didn't feel like it was muffled, even though it's on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So that was fine. 
I also took some pictures with the webcam and I'll show you those. Uh, the webcam, again, it's just kind of a generic webcam that you find on all these Ultrabooks. So nothing really special about them, which is unfortunate because I really want to see good webcams on these guys, but honestly, Well, do you use it so for great. anything more than Skype? No, I would just use it for Skype. Yeah. And that's yeah. it. So, but I mean, what else would you use? You're not going to take pictures with your webcam. Yeah. But even so, I want to get good video on my Skype. Yeah, yeah. Like, what if I'm doing a podcast on here? Well, that's a good point, yeah. So I, I like to have good webcams yeah. or else you have to buy an external one, which is a pain in the butt. Right. So the other thing that I noticed about this as well is it's missing some of the ports. So you'll usually find HDMI on here, an SD card slot. Sometimes you'll find Ethernet, the kind that you can pull down. They don't have any of those. They have USB 3.0, power of course on the side, and a headphone jack. On the other side, you got mini display port and another USB 3.0, and that's it. So you could use a mini display port as an HDMI app. Yes. You need an adapter. You would but need only, an adapter. it looks like only two USB ports on there, or three? Yeah, that's it, just, just two. two. Okay. So, so lots of, Lots of ports are missing, yeah. at least it felt like to me. So and of course, no optical drive. No optical yeah. drive, yes. Yeah. So my floppy pros disk. and cons. No floppy disk. No floppy disk. I just checked. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my pros and cons, it's lightweight, under three pounds mm -hmm. is a great deal. Uh, excellent screen. I absolutely love the screen and the amazing battery life. You can't go wrong with getting over eight hours, a little bit under 10. That's really good. And then for the cons, of course, the minimal ports. I would really like to have HDMI and an SD card slot built into this. Yeah. I don't want to have to buy an adapter for my I'm SD I'm surprised card. it doesn't have an SD card slot. That's so thin that you could put that on there. Yeah, you could put it anywhere yeah. on this thing. Yeah. But um, yeah, overall, I really enjoyed playing with it and I would totally take it home if I could. You would. I give it that's a buy. That's a buy. Yeah. I'd add another con. It's a little high priced for. It uh, is a little high priced. I guess that's comparable. But to it's it's comparable to like Acer's, the Acer S7 S7, yeah. and some of the other Haswell ones yeah. out there right now. So it is pretty. It's comparable. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so there you go. That's a buy on the Dell XPS 13, the brand new 2014 edition. Mm -hmm. And you, you pointed out that it's not yet on Amazon because it is the new edition. But yes. maybe even by the time you see this, uh, it will be.